Wimmera Football and uh, our early edition uh, with uh, Scotty Stewart before we get and have a look at the Southern Mallee Giants a bit later with Coleman. I'll tell you what, uh, Scotty Stewart, welcome back for 2022. We're looking forward to no COVID interruptions. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Wayne. How you going? And that is good to be back. Yeah, too right. But hopefully with a, a full season and um, and no interruptions, exactly what you said there. And I, I remember saying last year all along, we just had to get through last year because I'm I was thinking that um, we with 2022 and 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 the, the coming years we shouldn't have any more COVID interruptions. But um, who knows what's going to happen? But um, I'm, I'm thinking that we'll have. A good run out of this year. I reckon a good run because you've got your 21st anniversary this year of the Warwick Eagles amalgamating with Brim to become uh, the um, club that you are today. Also that uh, June long weekend, I hear that there's a big reunion happening. The last time your club won a senior premiership was in 2002. The 20-year reunion is the June long weekend. And Scotty, you actually were playing in that game. Yeah, that's going to be huge, that one, Wayne, that weekend. It's uh, the standalone game. Um, the, the officials from um, from Warwick Eagles and Dimboola got together and said, how about we, we um, play this uh, game on the long weekend? And uh, Dimboola, they were really good and they agreed to that. So, um, yeah, it's going to be massive, um, as you said there. The, the O2 flag, the last time we... Um, we won a flag. Um, that'll be us uh, celebrating that one. And yeah, there's a few other things they've got lined up. As you said, 21 years since um, since the merger. It was going to happen last year because um, with uh, 20 years, um, that's most um, clubs uh, celebrate there. But obviously, we couldn't do that last year with with COVID. So they're um, they're going to do it this year. And yeah, there's a couple others. There's a reserve premiership and a, an old Grim premiership in there. And oh yeah, it's going to be massive. We'll, we'll, we'll run. They actually put that into a matter just a couple of years ago to have a past players day and and um, it was really successful, the first one we did, and then that was 2019, and then obviously the last, next two years we couldn't do it. So uh, Anzac Park should be um, should be going on that day. It'll be, it should be a great day. Oh, it'll be fantastic. Because you're not playing this weekend in the opening round. Um, that gives everyone in your town a bit of uh, preparation time because uh, the following weekend, Easter in Warwick, Nabil, I, I see the horse races are on that weekend. I see that the vintage car stuff's out. I see the parade is uh, happening, and it's uh, a great weekend to be in the Beal. Yeah, exactly, and that's where they're promoting at Easter in the deal. And um, yeah, the the races will be on. That's always popular. And yeah, you say the, the things that we they they couldn't do last year, even though I think last last year at Easter time there was no lockdowns, but um, there was always just still a lot of restrictions going on. But yeah, vintage rallies and um, the art shows, and yeah, there's, they have a a great weekend. But it's, it's, um, they promote it pretty well, and, and they do it very well. Yeah. Oh, great time to come and stay in Warwick Nabil over Easter. Hey, um, talking about uh, the uh, Wimmera Football League, let's go through the games that are before us because you guys are obviously having a uh, weekend off and uh, be pre- preparing for a couple of weeks' time. Neil at Davis Park play Horsham D's, and they're talking about Neil having uh, a bit of a dip this year. Yeah, right. I'd, to be honest with you, I haven't heard a lot about uh, the Neil lads. The one thing I did hear about was um, a new coach. Trevor uh, Ulbrich, he um, he gave um, former Essendon fellow uh, player, I should say, uh, David Flutter ring to to um, come and give him a bit of a hand uh, with some um, Saturday play. So that'll be a bit of a bonus for the for the nil team there. But yeah, as I say, apart from that, haven't had too many other recruits. In that they they're a team that always um, that uh, you know have their local kids and have have them run around and. And the, you know the talk you probably you know, everyone sort of heard about their talk with Caniva. You know if they might have emerged in this year, but obviously that's not going to happen. But um, um, they they the team they put on the park here yeah, will be an interesting one. It'll be full of full of young kids, and um, yeah, look, hopefully they've got a, a few recruits and they can uh, take it up to Horsham, who uh, by all reports. Uh, Pretty much the same as, as last year. I think they've um, they picked up a few lads from out of the Horsham District League and um, lost the cover. But I'm, I'm thinking Horsham, yeah, they'll be they will be on the improve from what I hear with their their recruiting. They've um, got back got back some uh, some very good players. 
Yeah, they're certainly going to be very hard to throw, I think, the days this year. The um, Southern Mallee Giants get Dimmy up at Hopeton, and um, we've uh, got uh, some very interesting news about this. Uh, Sam Waddell is back for the Giants. But, uh, they'll be missing um, one of the Webster boys, Ben Webster, in the uh, big lineup this weekend uh, for this match. But, gee, this will be a beauty. Dim Buller, I'm told, though, they're going to be very competitive. Yeah, this one, is a pretty good start to... Um to the season, this one to um, to kick things off. Um, you know, the Southern Mallee Giants uh, perennial um, you know, top three finishers uh, since they've uh, come into the league, and um, yeah, Dim Buller, well, they were going to push pretty hard last year. And from all reports and the things you hear around, they've they've recruited pretty strongly, and um, they've uh, got a few um, few recruits coming out of uh, Darwin, from what I hear. But um, well, uh, time will tell on. And all that, all that we'll find out, uh, find out this weekend. But yeah, this is this will be a cracker the, 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 to open up the season. I think with our weather forecast this weekend, it's going to be played in perfect conditions. And uh, I would hope, and I think this one um, is, is set down for. So it'll be it'll be huge. Um, the Giants have had a bit of a, as you said, a bit of a change around. I think they've, they've uh, Josh Webbs has joined um, the, the coaching brigade up there, and um, Luke Marnie and uh, Coleman around and uh, Timmy Inkster, former Eagles coach there, he's taken on a, a role up there with uh, with the Giants this year and and um, look, as they're always strong, you say Sam Waddell coming back in, gee, that's, that's not a bad way to, um, to kick your season off with a recruit there. Oh, really is a big, big name player. What about Minya Matoa taking on Horsham Saints? And they tell me that uh, Minya Matoa have uh, had a couple of boys end up over at Eden Hope, um, the, the McIntyre lads. And I think they've also might have lost um, the, the uh, Petering boys too. Just uh, with uh, that side they had, they were absolutely benchmarked. They'll be the hunted now. They are. Yeah, for sure. Big, um, they'll, they'll, they will be interesting. I, um, I know they picked up um, Tanner Smith um, Former uh, Horsham, they played out of Kelkey there. Uh, I picked him up as a recruit. He's a mate of um, sort of, uh, Tim McKenzie, who's, who's coaching him again this year. Um, yeah, you say the, that was the word going around. The McIntyre lads are uh, as part of the company, and um, Cade and um, Mick Peter and headed down to Geelong Way. So, um, yeah, look, that's four pretty handy players. And another one there, Braden Ison, he's, he's taken on a role over at um, Rapanga, where he's taking on a coaching role there and um, so yeah look that's five pretty handy players I haven't heard of too many other departures or inclusions for them at this stage but um, look they're still going to be keen aren't they they've, they've sat out 2020 and missed the finals in 2021 all through COVID and you know if you're if you're if you're honest about it, you'd probably think that, um, you know, that's two flags that um, may have gone missing for them, which is really unfortunate. But they'll be having another crack, there'll be no doubt about that. And, and um, they will, I think they're at um, home, I think, when they play. Uh, yep, they're home, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, and the Saints with uh, David Johns in charge there, um, again, they'll uh, be putting a pretty similar team to what they put on the park last year. So, um They'll all unfold after the weekend and we'll know a lot more about the team lineups and how they're all going. But that that'll be a good game too. So um but you think Minnie Matara on their home deck would um, probably get that one. Yep, up at Minyap, by the way, and the final game, Stall play Ararat over Easter Friday, the Good Friday game at Central Park, of course, uh, with the Stall gift uh, and the Easter weekend. A lot of people heading to Stall and the Grampians. Uh, how do you see this one uh, in the, this following week? Yeah, I don't know a lot about the um, store lineup, and I did hear a, a whisper around uh, the summer months that um, all right. have, uh, have picked up a few players. Our mate uh, Matty Walter down there still uh, going around um, coaching. Is uh, finally retired though from from, uh, from, uh, from, the, from his playing days. Um, Matty, who was uh, we talking about our um, O2 Premiership uh, reunion, came up in June. Oh, yeah, obviously he was our joint coach of that one, but um, yeah, he's finally decided to put the boots away and just do the leadership from the side sidelines there, but good Friday down there, and um, yeah, that's always massive, and then with um, restrictions lifted on uh, with, with Easter and that, and yeah, who knows how many people they'll, they'll get to that game, but that'll that'll be a cracker down there, there's um, no doubt about it, but um, yeah, line-ups and how things are 
are going down there. That'll all unfold. And we'll know a bit more after that, after that Good Friday game. We certainly will, and we'll know more as the season progresses. A big one for the uh, Warwick Eagles. They've recruited um, Carl Cheney out of Adelaide um, the, from the Harndorf Footy Club, bringing uh, Yench with him. Of course, an Adelaide Crows player. So two really good footballers heading your way. So I'm really looking forward to the first match against the Southern Mallee Giants in a couple of weeks' time, and we'll talk about that um, the, and preview that in those two weeks' time. Great to have you back on board, Scotty Stewart from the Warwick Herald. Yeah, no worries, Wayne. Good to be back.